Good morning, listeners. Ben here and another podcast from me at 100 Nman. Totally unscripted, off the cuff. So today I want to talk about smart training, not volume training. In my world, smart training is the way to go. There's always that temptation when you're feeling like you could do more, just to go out and do more. Now, I've spoken before about how it's important to follow a plan but also be open to flexibility, listening to the body, meditating, really tuning in to what not only is important and works towards a supportive end goal, but also pausing and breathing when needed, listening to the the pause of the universe, listening to the pause of what your body needs. And as I said, there is always the temptation to do more. I've just come back and today I've got a, a short run but I've just had two rest days back to back. And these were already built into my training program. But yesterday I felt agitated. I felt restless. I feel that my body knows that the next day there's going to be exercise. So I think yesterday it was a bit shocked. It got in the flow of utilizing and consuming the food to use energy, but the energy wasn't used. Now, if you would have asked me yesterday if I wanted to go for a run, subconsciously I would have said yes but a conscious effort I made not to today I'm glad I didn't now I'm a subscriber to thinking long term the long game and I appreciate that sometimes you got to listen to what's right what's wrong and the plan that I've designed for myself is highly attuned to what I believe is going to work for me it's incorporated rest recovery progression excitement variety and a number of different experiences at the halfway point nearly now tomorrow will be 50 days in to my 100 days to Ironman and that's the reason why there's an additional rest day I added it in to allow myself the time just to reflect on what was happening about the reasons why now smart training for me is about sticking to a strategy about utilizing the experience of others about research about knowledge It's not so much about going out and just building volume, hitting the miles, about increasing the odds and the risks of injury. It's about utilising the knowledge of others and applying it to a plan that works for you, something highly accustomed, something that takes into consideration your demographic, your environments, your values, your goals and aspirations. Smart training for me is about stripping back all of the ego, gaining the knowledge from others and applying it to something that really does work for you, that's going to motivate, inspire, where you can get 60, 70, even 80 days in and still be inspired and motivated to continue. Equally keen, equally passionate, equally excited about the following day's training. That's where smart training comes in. Now, depending on the type of training, there is going to be an element of volume. There's no getting away from that. If you can utilize a strategy that enables you to maximize every session into something that's going to actually support you within your end goal, as opposed to just hitting the gym, working various muscle groups or pounding out endless miles on the road, what I believe is that not only will your journey be more beneficial, more enjoyable, but mindfully the journey will be less painful, less of a struggle, less of a challenge. So if you're training at the moment or thinking about embarking on a journey, my recommendation would be to think mindfully about what your aspirations are, how you could apply a well thought out strategy to your program, as opposed to just turning up and sweating it out. So that's my thoughts from today. Thanks for tuning in, listening. Thank you for your kind words and your comments. And stay tuned to listen to more from me, 100 m